many people today, when they find themselves frustrated by the inability of science to answer some of the deepest questions of our time, are looking to the past. We are reaching a confluence of tipping points in fundamental systems. There's tipping points in the energy system, there's tipping points in the climate systems of the planet. There's tipping points in terms of the financial system, food production, water issues. We're at the moment when all of these things converge, that time when the world is either destroyed or made new or both. Every world culture has always had its own prophecies of an end times. I think it's only natural that people are feeling a connection between our cultural traditions with what is happening in the world today. How do you deal? with religious symbolism, particularly in the context of the end times, of the end times, of the end times, of the end times. The Blessed Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam declared Every prophet warned his people about the Antichrist, about Dajjal, the false messiah. And the prophet Noah warned his people. But I, I say to you something that none have said before me. The Antichrist sees with one eye, his left eye. He's blind in the right eye. It looks like a bulging grape. But your Lord is not one eye. Between his eyes, on his forehead, is written the word kafir, disbeliever. And every mu'min will be able to read it. A mu'min is the one who has accepted the religion, the true religion but has not only accepted it with the lips, but the truth has entered into the heart. The one who has faith is a mu'min. And so every mu'min will be able to read and recognize this believer. Whether that mu'min is literate or illiterate, Well then why is it that the one who is a disbeliever cannot read? The one who has faith can read. The one who has no faith cannot read. So maybe we should send him to the eye specialist to have his eyes examined. Why can't you read? But the report comes back from the eye specialist. Perfect vision. No glaucoma. No cataract. His eyes are perfect. 
Well, then why can't he read? Even though his eyes are perfect. And why is it that the one who has faith can read and recognize Kafir disbeliever? Maybe that the one who has faith is not reading with these eyes. Do we have any other eyes beside these eyes? Do we have any other ears beside these ears? Do we have any other means of acquiring knowledge other than true sense, perception and rationality? The modern godless world says no. The Quran says yes. The Quran says that the heart can see. The Quran says that the heart can hear. When faith enters into the heart, then Allah puts noor in the heart, light. And with that light, the heart can see what these eyes cannot see. And so now it is plain and clear that when the one who has faith is seeing, he's seeing with more than these eyes, he's seeing with the heart. And so now it is also plain and clear that when the Dajjal sees with the left eye, it symbolizes external vision. When the Dajjal is blind in the right eye, it symbolizes internal blindness. With this introduction we understand now that when we're dealing with the subject of the Antichrist, there is a lot of symbolism involved in it. Religious symbolism, which needs to be interpreted.